Traveling is about exploring our world, taking opportunities and risks along the way. Over the next couple of months, you'll see me embark on an incredible adventure to new personal frontiers. Come join me as I fly Allegiant Air for the first time to Nashville, Tennessee. Welcome to the Sioux Falls Regional Airport. It's always nice to fly out of your local airport to start an exciting journey. Across the terminal road is the airport's brand new parking garage. Construction on this facility began in April of 2023 and it opened this September. The Skyway was opened just a few weeks later. A more in-depth tour of this garage will be coming soon. Check-in was done online and I was through security in almost no time. Since I had a couple hours before my flight, I did some brief plane spotting. There were a pair of F-35s on the ramp ahead of the South Dakota State Jackrabbits football game. It was their military appreciation game, and these Lightning Twos came from the 58th Fighter Squadron in Elgin Air Force Base, Florida. The Costello Terminal opened in 1970. In its first years, North Central, Ozark, and Western were its tenants. As mergers and additions took place, we now have the Legacy Carriers, plus Allegiant and Frontier making their rounds. Allegiant especially has made their presence known. They started flying to Sioux Falls in 2004 from Las Vegas. Additional flights to Austin, Phoenix Mesa, Nashville, Los Angeles, Fort Lauderdale, Punta Gorda, St. Petersburg, and Orlando Sanford are also scheduled, with previous routes such as Orange County and San Diego having been closed. Nashville was added in May 2020 and initially ran seasonally. The service now operates year-round and frequently alternates between the Airbus A319 and A320 depending on demand. Today's ride to the Music City is November 229er November Victor, a 27-year-old Airbus A320 and Allegiant's oldest active plane. Therefore, she's one of the few remaining aircraft painted in the older livery. She first flew in September 1997, being delivered to Ryan International Airways in December of that year. She then operated for multiple British carriers, such as Air World, Flying Colors, JMC Airlines, Thomas Cook UK, USA 3000, and then went to Vladivostok Avia in 2008, Hamburg Airways in 2014, and finally Allegiant Air in 2015. We're slightly delayed due to the inbound flight being behind schedule. Fortunately, the delay was only 20 minutes, and they made an effort to quickly start boarding once the inbound passengers deplaned. Allegiant A320s have an all-economy cabin, configured 3-3 with 31 rows for a total of 177 seats. I booked a Legroom Plus seat, 3F, which the airline claims to have four more inches of legroom than their other seats. The tray table is small but adequate. The seatback contents include a safety card, air sickness bag, in-flight magazine, and promotional material for a Florida resort. Air vents and overhead lights are available. I noticed one of the air vents for the seats in front of me was taped off. The seat itself is decent. There's minimal padding, but I didn't notice upon initially sitting down. My bag in the overhead bin got moved around to accommodate extra baggage. It was moved to the bin behind me. And I can confirm that the legroom is much greater than some of their standard seats. Here's my view for the flight tonight in 3F. Let's go to Nashville out of gate one.
We'll turn to the southeast as we fly over Iowa, Missouri, and parts of Illinois and Kentucky at 33,000 feet before beginning our descent into Nashville. Snack service began as we continued our climb. I got a bottle of water. It's important to stay hydrated, especially when you're going away for multiple days at a time. Later in the flight, better conditions prevailed and I was able to do some sightseeing. Enjoy the nighttime views. Now comes our landing in Nashville on runway 2 center. We will be parking at gate Charlie 5 tonight.
Jet Blue, 220. And that will do it for this trip report. Overall, this flight was great, minus the pre-departure delay, and I would definitely fly Allegiant again. Hopefully we get a much newer plane for our next flight. Join me next week as we continue the Florida excursion. With that being said, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video.